Hello everyone, welcome back to the Thrill of the Thrift. Guess what today's video is? If you guessed part one of my thrift hauls from Philadelphia, you'd be correct. Yes, this is part one of all of the treasures that I brought back from Philadelphia. Reason it's part one is probably because there's going to be three or four parts of the eight boxes that I shipped home. <laughs> well, in all fairness, seven. One box was just one picture. But anyways, I have a ton of stuff around me. The reason I am filming in my... um my warehouse, <laughs> my inventory room, is this is where I unpacked everything. And I wasn't about to drag it all out to the kitchen. Heck no. So I am filming in here for uh, this bunch of videos. So without further ado, everyone, I'm going to get on with this video. God bless you, Binksy. <laughs> the guy next door just cut the grass and I have the windows open and he's sneezing. Wonder if he has an allergy to grass. I don't know. You never know, right? All right. So before, before I get started, I just quickly would like to say um, welcome to all of my new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate you being here. And welcome back to all of my current subscribers. I am very happy to see you back as well. Alrighty, guys, let's get started. And I'm going to start with this item that's on my lap. Yep, I shipped home this amazing afghan. Uh, it's, uh, it's wonderful. Oh, my goodness. And it is quite large. And... It is in perfect condition. There are no stains on it or anything. And I, there was no way I was going to leave this in Philadelphia. So guess what? It just added extra packing to my boxes. <laughs> so that's item number one. Isn't it amazing? The colors are awesome. All right. So I'm going to set this aside someplace. Um, OMG, I don't know where to put it. Right there. That'll work. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, we were at, I believe, uh, you know what, guys? Let me just start by saying I have no idea where I got any of these items, like exactly what store, what items came from, and I really have no idea what I spent. I really, really don't. So you're just going to have to bear with me and just see all the treasures that I found in Philadelphia, regardless of the price or where I found them. So with that being said, Scott found this awesome uh, sugar bowl. It is the Poppy Pattern. And I said, hey, I have the matching creamer at home. So Scott said, well, then you have to have this because he was going to buy it. Well, guess what? It's not the same pattern. Um, it is different. Mine does not have the red um, the red on it, and it doesn't have the, these type of handles either. So guess what? I'm going to be mailing this back to Scott. But anyways, it is the, it's Pegasus by Sebring, and it's called Redhead Poppy. So, unfortunately, I was wrong. I did not have the matching creamer. So, Scott, you'll be getting that back. <laughs> okay. I did find this awesome um, Mexico pottery bird toucan. He's awesome. It says Mexico right on the bottom. And I just thought he was really, really neat. So I picked him up. I love Mexican pottery. I have a collection of it myself. 
Okay, I'm just grabbing and going, guys. I found two glass Christmas trees. Yep, two different sizes. I will probably, um, I don't know if I'm going to sell them as a pair or separately. Probably separately. So, there you have those. Um, okay. I found uh, two fairy lamps at, I, I do know that I got these at the um, flea market that we went to. Not the one in the pier. There was another flea market that we went to. I didn't film at that one, but I did find two of these. Again, you know, all of these, you know, will need to be washed and everything, but two exactly the same. So I picked those up. I think these are really pretty, the frosted glass. Love those. Here's the other one. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. All right. I did find... This, I, and I believe this I also found at that flea market. It is Relco Japan. And it was this beautiful couple. Looks like colonial times, right? George, Washington, George and Martha Washington, perhaps. Right? And it's in excellent condition. There's the sticker, Relco. Does have a little bit of paint loss on, um, on his hat. Uh, I also found this. Now, I don't know where I found this, but it's another piece of Mexican pottery. I know it's upside down. Whoops. Cute little vase. I found a, uh, a Fenton bear. So apparently they say these Fenton bears glow green. Let me grab my black light and let's just see. I don't see any green, not on this one, but that's okay. So I did get this little guy. Um, also at the flea market, I got, now these, I don't see, oh yes, this one is Leo Ward 1994. I got the two um, Bluebirds of Happiness on the heart. And there is Leo Ward. I know you're probably not going to be able to see that. But it is there. Uh, these I've got from the same person, all three of them. I also got this little birdie. And this one. He's a little tiny one compared to this one. So I was happy to find those. Found some great stuff at this outdoor uh, flea market. Um, let's see. Uh, I did get this beautiful paperweight. Oh my goodness, look at that. With the cobalt blue in the bottom. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. I got some glass veggies. We got a green and a red pepper. Got an apple. A pumpkin. And they're all in excellent condition. Um, I think this is a golden delicious apple. Excuse me, guys. And I got this one. This, I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. It's got that, I don't know, that pattern on it. It reminds me of, um, 
honeycomb. I don't know. But it is some type of a yellow fruit. Probably maybe another apple or it's not a pineapple. I have not a clue. <laughs> it's a mystery fruit. Uh, let me see. Oh, I got this. I am loving this. First of all, it's cobalt blue. Look at this awesome tea light candle holder. Isn't that great? I love it. It is beautiful. Uh, it is actually Lennox. I can't even believe it. Lennox. That is a gorgeous piece right there. I absolutely love that. Uh, I also got this beautiful piece of blue glass. I can't remember the pattern name on this. Oh, what the heck was it? I had it written down for a long time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is a gorgeous blue, let me tell you. Um, and I don't believe, I mean, there's a few little teeny um, flea bites over here. But nothing major. I mean, especially because it's got this sawtooth um, top. You would think that there would be a lot more um, issues, but it's not bad at all. And I absolutely love the color. So I picked that up. Ah, uh, Binks, I really don't need you up here right now, dude. I got this. I just think this is beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? You know how I am with the fruit motif. Love it. I think it's gorgeous. And it is um, Yukago, actually. Dang, I didn't even realize. This was at, um, I know we got this at Goodwill, at, at, at a thrift store, and there was a sticker on it from somebody's yard sale that they never took off. But there's the Yukago sticker. So that is a pretty piece. Uh, let me see. I got this gorgeous cobalt blue hen on nest. Oh boy, I love this. This was at the outdoor flea market as well. It was called the Columbus flea market and yes I love this love it Binks please buddy get down I'm having hot flashes up the yin yang today it is not a good day OMG okay uh Binks you have to get down so mommy can get at her things uh, I did find these as well at the, the Columbus Flea Market. Ooh. Now, they're ju they just say Mexico and they are signed. They do not say Tanala, so I can't say for certain if they are Tanala or not, but I got the pair of them in different colors. Love them. Got to wash them up. All this stuff has to get, most of it has to get cleaned up. I did get this. This Now, this I got at uh, Goodwill, I believe. Their stickers are a lot easier to get off than um, my Goodwill. Takes an act of Congress to get the stickers off. Got this beautiful cobalt blue vase. that back here. Um, also at the flea market, I got this amazing look at this piece, guys. Is this not gorgeous? Cut to clear cobalt blue vase, and it is in perfect condition. Gorgeous. Holy cow. 
this will definitely be an offer up. It is just stunning. The cobalt uh, blue hen on nest will also be an offer up. The fairy lamps will. The bluebirds. Yeah, I got a lot of items that are going to be offer ups. Um, I got this slag glass little pitcher. I'm sure it glows. If this dang light would work. Uh, you know what? This is the worst flashlight I ever bought. It is just horrible. It does glow. It's very hard to see in this lighting, but it does glow. Yeah, I got to get a new flashlight. This one just, it sucks in plain English. So I got that. Um, I got this gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at this amazing box. Isn't this beautiful? It's made in Bavaria. I can't remember where I got this. I'm not quite sure. It might have been at an antique place. I'm not positive. But it's in excellent condition. Uh, here is the Bavaria. It says, uh, made in Germany. And it is just absolutely stunning. Oh, I love this. Mm. Uh, let's see. I did get these, and I can't remember where I got them. I, I don't know, but they're these blown glass controlled bubble little, um, I, I believe they're ashtrays because it does have the little indent for the cigarette. But these could be used for little, you know, trinket dishes or whatever, you know. So I got those. I like those. I did get some beautiful um, plates. And, like, this is like a little nappy dish. Look at that. Lusterware finish. It's got um, lilies. Oh, gorgeous. Then I got this one. I just love this one. This one is France. Oh my gosh. Isn't that, oh, beautiful. The colors are awesome. Then I got this one. This one is uh, Bavaria. Um, so pretty. There is the, do I have that upset? No, I don't. And this, this I got at Philly, Philly Aid Thrift, Philly Aid Thrift. Um, this is just stunning. Oh, look at those flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. Hand-painted and signed by Eleanor. Gorgeous! Now, you might have seen me flip out over this in the, um, the antique store that we went to. And I did purchase it. This flow blue angel or cherub plate. Oh my goodness. Now it has no markings. Oh, there's tape on here. I did not even see that. Hang on, guys. There's no markings. I have no idea who made it, but it is just gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. I love flow blue. All right. Um, I'm going to show a few more items and I'm going to call it quits on part one. And I'm probably going to film part two right after this one 
so I can get some of these items cleaned up and put away and leave myself some room. Because <laughs> right now I have stuff everywhere. I did buy two fairy lamps at the antique store. And dang it, I can't think of the name of it. It begins with a W. Uh, I did film in there. Uh, you saw Dave uh, with the wig on in there. <laughs> so I did get this one. Mm-hmm. It's gorgeous. And, um... Apparently, it's party light. I had no idea. Party light. Woohoo! <laughs> That's amazing. And I got the L.E. Smith one. Had to. I just had to. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me reach back here and grab this. This is a beauty, and it is hand-painted by Eleanor Romano. And I'm wondering if it's the same Eleanor that painted this plate that I just showed you. Because it is another fruit piece. I'll bet you it's the same Eleanor. I'll bet you any money. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> wow. All right. Couple more things, guys. I did get these two uh, little cuties. These are UCGC Taiwan. These little, oh, this one's got a broken wing. But, I and I do remember her having a broken wing. But I got them anyways because if you have them sitting on a shelf, no one's going to know. And if I felt up to it, I could probably fix, make her a new wing with clay. But you know what? I'm not, I'm just not. I don't, there's not enough hours in the day. So, I did get these two adorable little angel girls. Um, I did get, and, and it was funny because <laughs> we were in a, a Goodwill, and um, Tammy knows I, I like the Joseph original. So, she comes over, and uh, they had, it was in a, in a goodie bag. You know how Goodwill does the bags. And the only thing in there I wanted was her. So Tammy took her out of the bag and gave her to me. And then I went up and said, can I get a price on this? <laughs> so they priced it for me. So I didn't have to buy the whole bag of junk I didn't want just for her. So thanks, Tammy. <laughs> I was cracking up. Oh, okay. And the last item I'm going to show you is this beautiful Fenton Bell that I found. This was at a Goodwill also. I don't believe these uh, glow. No, no glow on there. But it is that beautiful, it's a white satin finish. Um, and it is signed on the inside. So guys, that is part one, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really does matter. Uh, YouTube does take notice of the thumbs up, so that would be greatly appreciated. And if you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, why not hit that subscribe button and the bell so YouTube will let you know anytime I upload a new video or go live. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for part one of my Philly thrift haul. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.